What's up, you guys? We're early because we got stuff to do today. So this is not going to be a super long video. I just wanted to pop in and do some art with you guys because it's the best part of my day. Um, I hope I didn't tell you guys on the Facebook app. Dang it. Oh, well. So what's up, Debbie? So today we're going to just set some stuff on fire and try not to catch the studio on fire. So, let me find a good A good vantage point. Over here. That's not it. Cooperate. Okay. Right. Almost done. Okay. So. What's up, Beyond? Yeah, we're early. Um, we're going to... No, I'm not doing the fire scene today. I don't have time to do a full-on piece. Um, what I do have time to do is some alcohol ink coasters. I got this fantastic box of amazing from Jen and I accidentally got on Blick when they were having a sale so yeah that happened what's up y'all what's up fireball for fire coasters I don't even think I have any fireball Um, the balloon turned out like this. It's right here. It's crunchy, but still like movable. So I'm just going to let this live for one more day and then I'm going to do another coat and I'm going to pop that sucker and see what we can come up with. Oh, I'm so glad Rusty. Most of you should have gotten, um, a notification today because I sent out the rest of the fire sale items, all but three people, I believe. Um, so, on to this. If you guys are going to do this at home without parental supervision, hi, Moo. Um, make sure you have a something that will put your fire out. If you blow an alcohol ink something, you're just going to blow fire everywhere. So, make sure you have something around to put your fires out. Because I have accidentally caught my everything on fire before. True story. So, Let's crack this open and I'm just going to like grab colors because I feel like that's fun. Not need alcohol. Unprepared. I also just got in a whole bunch of alcohol so that's awesome. Wet towels would help. That's true. Um, so just to tell you guys how I prep my space, I have a baking sheet with aluminum foil on it and then a brick to raise it off of the base. None of those things are flammable, so it's good. It's good stuff. I need, I'm not going to use a blending solution because if I do... It doesn't turn out right. And I'll do a demo so you guys can see the difference. Hey, Margo. We're having a great weekend so far. I want to do another big alcohol ink piece, but I need to um, figure out what colors I want to use, which is partially what today is about. 
I want to try to figure out what colors I want to use next. For some reason, I'm seeing green in a lot of pieces. Hi, Diane. I haven't checked my text yet, Diane, but I'll get right to it. I've been swamped all day sending out orders. Fire. I'm just going to sippy sippy while that burns off. Yeah, Margo, playing with fire is definitely something that you got to warm up to. Um, I'm going to also use my heat gun to kind of move it around. Um, I'm relatively new to alcohol inks. Diane, it should like be there by now, but I will, I'll check on it again. It did pick up from um, FedEx. Now that the fire's burned off on top, I'm going to look under and make sure there's no fire so I don't catch my life on fire because I have a tendency to do that. So what the fire does is it burns off the alcohol that's in the ink and in the, like, that I went ahead and put on as a base. And it burns it off so that the ink is kind of seared onto the area where it was when the fire is burned off of it. And if you use a blending solution, it just does some not cute things. Let me find one. Here's some blending solution. Put some alcohol down. Blending solution. What the blending solution does is it mixes um, your colors into each other better than it would otherwise. This is tile, yeah. And most of these inks are by Ranger. Needs a little bit more. In this, I just have 91% um, uh, alcohol. So, Some of my inks burning off. So when you use a blending solution, you're gonna get these like dark sizzle marks, which aren't a problem. I would just recommend doing a resin over it instead of like a a um, something like a spray varnish. What's up, JJ? Thank you, Margo. What's up, Kelly Quincy? So you can see this dark mark right here that I'll show you a close up in a second. But that's kind of, check to make sure nothing's on fire. That dark mark right there, it's kind of bubbled up a little bit. You can kind of see the texture. That's the blending solution not burning off very well. And you don't have to use fire like that. You can use a heat gun and I will demo that for you. I'm kind of digging these grant, like just grabbing random colors. Shell pink. I didn't prep the tiles at all. They're just straight out of the box. I'm gonna turn my heat gun to half. So that's all the way down. That must be half and low high low high that doesn't make sense so using a heat gun you're gonna do kind of the same as with the um, fire it's just gonna evaporate the alcohol that's in your piece but this gives you a more controlled way to do that so you can kind of design where your lines are going to go this shell pink does not stay very well mm, it's at a different color Hi Joseph, glad you stopped in. Hi Julie. So 
So this just gives you more defined lines. A lot of people just find it easier to just set it on fire and let it do its thing. I'm gonna have to check that, um, check into that Sue. Hi Izzy, how have you been? Haven't seen you in a while. This is something I'm super interested in. Um, Jen, I don't know, it was an accident. This is a masking fluid, wait. I don't know if you guys can read that, but it's a fine point masking fluid. And basically, you're supposed to be able to like write with it and it like rolls off like glue. I'll tell you, I tried this one other time and it came out the sides instead of the tip of it. So it was, it was a mess, but we'll see if it works. So I'm going to let this dry and set up. So I'm going to set it just right here. Um, I also wanted to show you guys, I got some Blick Studio uh, pen marker refills and these are supposed to be great for alcohol inks and less expensive than the Rangers. So let's see how these work. This is violet. So far it looks pretty violet. And let's see, horizon blue. That's a fun color. Looks like my blue's getting lost. No, Sherry, we just started. They are much cheaper than a Cop Copic. I always call them Copic, but they are much cheaper than the Copic refills, like by a couple dollars. Penny, it is pretty cold here for sure. Judy! So the violet completely ate up the blue, but it's still pretty, so I'll let it live. I kind of like it when it does these dark areas, but in person you can totally see the... Um, where it bubbles a little bit. Check for fire. This might be a better angle. So you can kind of see that like film just there. Right there catches the light. So I feel like it's super similar to the Copic refill markers, but is just less expensive. I think I feel that they're as vibrant easily. I bet I would too, Kathy. been that bad but today it was pretty chilly for sure to say the least 
And I think it would be so bad, except for the wind was blowing a lot. When you use the fire, it makes the colors blend so easily. I'm not really feeling this one, y'all. Oh, I guess I am making a fire scene, aren't I? Oh no, it kind of bubbled where it was getting too, um, it's a little warm. Can you guys even see that right here where it bubbled up? See where the light's catching it funny? Those dark marks. Kind of boiled the um, everything. Put this over here so I don't sit on it. So. Terry, you can. I saw someone do a flower. I want to see if I could do what I saw. Now, it would if I really didn't like that. I don't know where it is. So I'll try it on one of the other ones. It will dissolve the blend. So I saw someone do a flower and ultimately it kind of went something like this. You have to make your petals on the outside. They kind of worked it for a while though because what they did was push the color towards the rim to get that kind of dark line. Then they just kept adding circles. I'm doing a very simplified version of the piece that I saw, obviously. Oops. I think that's my phone going off. Sorry, y'all. I feel like I'm going to fail this flower. It doesn't look like the flower I saw. How did I do that first flowers bee that I did a long time ago? Do you remember those? Just leave it like that. Are you gonna set it on fire? Mm-mm. I think you should set it on fire to see what that does. I mean, it's not gonna do much. That's it. not turning out like I wanted it to. But then again, can't control everything. I should know that from resin by now. I'll learn that one day. Look 
Look at my knot flower. It's not a good look. Oh well. We'll revisit that guy. So it looks like my this is dry. Jen, I don't even know what happened. So let's add some alcohol. And I, I've done this, well, okay. Scratch that. I'm going to just do the, I'm just gonna do some blues. I'm not gonna do fire because I don't know how that stuff reacts to fire. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I'm only half harsh on myself. I don't take anything too seriously as a rule. I did a flower a long time ago that turned out really well. I don't really remember how it came together or what I used to research it. Oh, thank you, Terry. Why we gotta talk about cowbell? I don't understand. You guys see me over here working with fire and you're gonna talk about some cowbell. It's cute. All right, let's see how this stuff works. Sounds like a lovely palette. So here's what it looks like before I peel it off. Oh, <gasps> uh, uh, it's magic. Mm -hmm. Just comes off so easily. Check it out. Ba bam Oh, my pleasure, Miss Lisa. I sent you an email, by the way. How awesome. Okay, now I want to see what happens if I set that stuff on fire. So let's get that out. If you guys miss it, it is fine line masking fluid pen super nib fine tip. Where are you? You're right here. Okay. I used this stuff. Um, Tiffany, I used 91 or 99%. Right now I'm using 91. Okay. I don't know what happens if I set this stuff on fire. So we're going to just do a test. Just set this aside. Let that dry. This stuff comes with a, like there's a needle in the cap. I know you guys are gonna hit me with that's what she said, but hard to get it in the hole. Um, I'm not sure, Carrie. I've never tried it.
All right. Now, oh, I have alcohol ink right in my there. Another thing I wanted to show you guys and test for you is this stuff. It is Spectrum Noir. I've never tried their stuff before either. So I have this and one more thing that I want to review with you guys. What color is this? Danger flammable. Well, of course it is. I don't know what color that is. All right, here's one. That's pretty brilliant, Jen, but you're always pretty brilliant. Hi, Dee. How are you doing, Skywalker? All right, Spectrum Noir packages this stuff like scissors are packaged. And it comes with a handy dandy little pipette. This, it really doesn't want me to get into here. Okay. So this is some kind of blue color. IB2. And pipette. Do I have alcohol in here yet? No. Let's see how well this does. Oh, it sure is pretty. The pipette is plastic, but the bottle is glass. I'm going to lose those pipettes. I know it. So I'm just gonna just set this one on fire to see if it burns evenly, if it gives me those little bubbled up areas. I'm just gonna rotate it. Don't do that at home because you'll burn yourself. It looks like when it's concentrated, it burns off like the blending fluid does. It just has that thick, um, not cute area. Right there on the edge. Um, so I'm just gonna add more alcohol ink and it reactivates everything, so that's good. Now, I'm gonna add some other colors, because while that color looked good, I feel like it. Um, Carrie, I think there are some inks that don't bubble up like that, but I'm sure it has to do with pigmentation and whole bunch of other stuff. Well, that one lit up quickly. That is why you always have to have some kind of anti-flame thing on hand. And I think it's funny that that's in like a... a can that can't get hot. That one's starting to bubble up on the sides too. Check for extra flames, good to go. Let's see if that's dry, nope. Okay, I also got this stuff. I know, I know, Jen, I'm horrible, but I used all of the area in my these that you got for me. One day I'll be a grown up and get more organized. Jeff's the organized one. So I got this Bria Reese glitter liquid. It's a silver additive. I don't know if it's gonna be awesome or not. 
So we're gonna see what the survey says, whether it's awesome or not. Ooh, it's pretty. Since this wild plum is out, we'll just pair it with this. It looks kind of like just a mica powder was introduced. Doesn't really look as though it's glittery, but we'll see how it lives. I know, storage containers are awesome. I just am horrible about it. Okay, so for the record, this Brierie stuff doesn't want to be set on fire. I should have used a heat gun. But I wonder if you guys can see the shimmer. I don't know if that's too blown out. You can kind of see the sparkle in that one. But it also did that bubble up thing that's not a good look. So I'm going to put that aside and we're going to try it with just alcohol. And a pigment and using the heat gun. Hey B, Larry says Crayola is awesome. Hey Donna. What's up, Miss Bouvier? So it doesn't really like heat gun either. Everywhere that had that glitter on it kind of dried chunky. So I'm going to do a test on like how it does if I just set it and forget it, you know? Oh, that's awesome, Jen. Welcome, Miss. Bouvier to the poor people. All right, so this is finally set up. I'm going to add alcohol to it as per usual. Add some color. I'm just going to add the color to it. I'm not going to do like anything too fancy because this is just a test. Nope, that doesn't go there. All right. Stand back, people. I don't know how this is going to go. Fire extinguisher is at the ready. Go. I'm using a masking fluid, and I don't know if it's flammable or if it'll melt. Thank you, Clara, Jen. It'd be really cool if it'll survive the fire. And I think it may have, to be honest. Check for extra flames. And there's some down here. That's why you check for flames. All right, let's see. <gasps> Y'all. <gasps> the fire didn't affect it. It just still worked. Ta-da! 
Super pumped about that. Very handy dandy if I do say so myself. I know, I'm gonna have to get some more of this stuff. I didn't think it would work as well as it does. I'm not even sure what it's actually made of because there's no like ingredients. It's like a printed off someone's printer label. Debbie, I wasn't either to be honest. So now I wanna know what'll happen. If I do like will it protect my first layer of alcohol inks or take up the alcohol inks I don't know let's find out together just real quick last one. I'm not sure what the masking fluid is Linda but this is what the bottle is Jen added a link to it a second ago. Right, Diane? No, Sherry, the balloon survived. It didn't pop. Shocker. Um, but I'm going to do another layer on it. Um, and then pop it probably tomorrow. I'm just using a heat gun to dry out this glue or masking fluid. I'm sure it's some type of glue of some type. Of some type. Um, so let's add some alcohol. And a color that's not pink. So since I use so much heat, the alcohol is evaporating. <gasps> B, I set everything on fire and I almost blew it, what? literally. But that's why you don't like, don't ever blow what you're working on. Cause that would have pushed the fire everywhere. And that's why we have the aluminum foil on the base that would have caught all this paper on fire could have been bad I was ready <laughs> always have a fire extinguisher or this mini awesomeness next to you uh, Jeff is over there we rearranged things today So let that be a lesson to you kids at home. There's still fire down there. Okay. Oh, wah, wah. I took the pink off with it. I was really hoping it would like mask the pink and then be green everywhere else, but the heart would still be pink, but womp. Trace, this is one of the balloons. I'm going to put another coat on it because it's still thin like this. I'm gonna put another coat on it tomorrow and then I'm gonna pop it live on camera during the show. So these turned out pretty. It answered a lot of questions I had about the products. I hope it showed you guys some fun things about the products. Definitely super pumped about that masking fluid that let me draw out my name and ATD. Super fun, super easy. I am not sponsored by these people in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to try it out and see what's up. And that turns out to be what is up. 
But, um, yeah, I know. I saw that, Judy, and I hope that um, they send that stuff soon because I'm interested to see how it works. But B and I have a date at the racetrack. He's he's gonna be very sad when we come home because I'm basically a professional race car driver and he doesn't even know anything about that because I'm gonna win. So yeah. That's awesome, Lisa, I saw that. Anyways, I hope you guys tune in to see all the things that we made tonight, check out the products that we used. The flower looks better now, but it's still not where I want it to be. I'm gonna do another one. Um, I'm not sure what I'm driving, it's just go-karts. It's not like Formula One, NASCAR. Anyways, you guys, I, Lou, we probably will end up putting a wager on the race, but um, it is cold, but it's an indoor track, so it's fine. Anyways, you guys, read all these things, and we'll be back tomorrow for a full, full-on video for you guys. Um, sorry it's such a short video, but life. Anyways, send me an email if you need anything, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to um, be kind to everybody. You never know what someone may be going through. So, Moose says hi. Moose says bye, right? Right. All right, you guys. Love you all. See you tomorrow. Bye. I said bye.